Was it a case of Garraway coming simply to say he could not come? Winston Garraway, the former Minister of National Disaster Management, showed up at the GBN to represent the new National Party on GBN's budget analysis on Beyond the Headlines. Earlier in the day, GBN was informed that former Trade Minister Oliver Joseph would represent the party. However, by late afternoon, the party announced that Joseph was no longer available and that a yet-to-be-named individual would attend at the GBN. Host Stevenson Warm did introductions as per usual and proceeded to invite panelists to share opening thoughts on the importance of the budget. It was then that the NNP representative outlined his position. I have a statement which I would like to read. And um, the new National Party notes with concern the non-delivery of the hard copies of the 2023 budget statement. After today's presentation, this document traditionally is presented to all members of parliament and then the general public immediately after the presentation of the statement by the Minister of Finance. This is the first instance in modern memory where this has not been done. As such, members of the new National Party team have been restricted in their ability to respond in a proper and fitting manner in the short term to the budget statement 2023. We call on those responsible to ensure that the proper standards and expected courtesies of Grenada's parliament are respected and affected, or sorry, affected. While complaining about not having a printed copy, Mr. Garway acknowledged that a digital copy was made available during the day. While a digital copy was circulated prior to 4 p.m. this afternoon, and this based solely on the interjection by the leader of His Majesty's opposition at the end of the sitting, it does not allow our team ample time to scrutinize the 80 plus pages of information for a length, from a lengthy presentation and respond in short order to what have been many requests by the media for comments on said documents. The new National Party is prepared after the receipt of the document and it is studied to be involved in any forum to discuss said document. Host Stevenson Warm was left with no choice. But my my contention is, uh, Dr. Gawi, is that 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 could have been intimated to our producers, uh, you know, prior to the program, and that could have been told to the producers. Look, we have not received the, uh, important uh, documentation, and as a result, we can't appear on the program. And I think that that that's more protocoled, in my humble opinion, than what we get here tonight. Then there could have been an official statement or whatever, uh, you know, that look, we did not get the documents that we needed so we won't be able to give uh, a, a good you know rebuttal or whatever the case may be or comments or analysis about it um, so we, I, we'll, I, we'll, I don't think we're, we're going to take a short break yeah, and we'll excuse well. uh, Dr. Gawi. Dr. Gawi, thanks a lot for coming for a few minutes and, uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Garraway read from a prepared text, and observers say an afternoon reading of the tea leaves should have pointed to last night's turn of events. Upon the completion of the proceedings on Monday, opposition leader Dr. Keith Mitchell rose on a point of order, articulating three points to the Speaker of the House, one of them relating to the absence of a printed copy of the budget presentation. <laughs> The third point, Speaker, I would love to have, usually at the end of this, we have a hard copy provided for members of the speech of the Minister of Finance. I, I will look forward to that. Thank you, Honorable Leader of the Opposition. The question is, exactly what was the motive of Mr. Gawi's posturing on GBN's program? Was it a case of Gawi coming simply to say he could not come? Was it a publicity stunt? The jury is still out. Joseph Cador, GBN News.